Hi, Davy again. How are you doing? Great. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Curry function. Well, that thing is better than Stephen Curry and the Curry uh, Spice. It is really good. Okay, some people will go mad at me because I just compared the f f uh, Curry function and Stephen Curry or, or, or the food. But as a software engineer, <laughs> they're better. It's just better, right? And I'm going to show you that right away. So um, er, starting the, the, uh, in that series, I'm actually covering composition technique in functional programming using TypeScript. And um, some of the references that I'm using actually come from a, a book that uh, a, a good friend of mine, Re Remo, uh, 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 wrote, like functional programming uh, with TypeScript. Uh, I'm going to put a link in, in the comment. And we actually have a challenge going on is the next 100 people that subscribe to this channel, uh, we, uh, out of them, we're going to pick five of them and we're going to mail you the uh, the book. OK, so don't forget to uh, join us uh, there. OK, uh, no, what I mean is like subscribe, click that button. Apparently, people say you should be doing it. So let's talk about the curry function. If I'm talking too fast, you tell me, OK? The comment. So what is the curry function? So the idea of a curry function is given a function with more than one argument, a curry function will turn that function into multiple unary function, right? So if a function has two arguments, the curry function will turn that into two unary functions. So if you don't know what unary is, you got to watch my video about arity in a functional programming. Arity is just the idea of the length of a function, right? So how do you calculate the length of a function? You just say the name of the function dot length. I'm going to show you that and we're going to implement the curry function. So if we have a function add that take x, right, and then return a number here, we, we guess that right, and then we're just going to say x plus y. Okay, so that's what we have, first steps. Then uh, that function there takes two arguments, and the idea here is you're going to call that uh, by saying 2 and 3. Uh, or two and two, right? And we have four, basically, right? So uh, add super easy. Now, now the idea of the curry function is um, it's going to take, it's going to gonna turn that function into two of them. So how do you do so? Let's write that over here. We're going to write a curry function. And the curry function, if you want to look at, uh, uh, for example, let's say here, you want to, to know the length of the number of argument a function has, you just have to check it this way, right? That's, uh, that's, that's the notion of arity, right? So, uh, based on the number of argument, you can start writing a function that will basically combine uh, uh, this argument and return unary based on them. So the way you will do that here is to say, okay, this one here takes a function, that function, you don't know how many arguments it takes, but for now, we're just going to stick to two and we're going to uh, improve that over time, right? So that that's basically it. And and now here below, what you basically say, you're going to return, well, uh, uh, the fact that you have two arguments here, one and two, the fact that you have two arguments here, you can then say, here you're gonna return uh, a number and that one there is then is gonna take the y which is a number and that one there will just then call the function f to fn and then pass this right so uh, if you go right below and you say okay i have the function curry i'm going to pass it add and now you can then say you know that that thing takes uh, let's say two and then another two and if we look at uh, if if we look at the result we're going to see four right so that's that's the idea of a uh, curry so the, the 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 question there will be where where can i use it why will i use it for okay um we cover in a previous video this idea of partial function right um uh, the, the, the partial function is basically a set of uh, system that will communicate with each other by basically saying, hey, listen, 
I have part of the system. Then if you, if you, uh, uh, whenever you need my part, just give me the function and I will pass you the part and then it will go into a chain that will end up resolving the entire process. But each of the element takes that one parameter, basically dealing with one part of the system. But that's when you have control over the function itself. However, what Curry does, it says, I don't know, I, I'm not aware of your system. I, if your system takes a lot of element, a lot of argument, a lot of input, let me break it down for you into small chunks. Um, so it's kind of a, an elevation of what the partial function do. For partial function, you as a user have the control over the function that you wrote, but uh, um, uh, the, the um, uh, curry will just say, I don't have control over that function. So by applying curry on it, I can then take control over that function. Do you see what I mean there? So um, for example, here, the, the, the number of function, you, the number of arg, uh, function you return here literally is color, is, it's tied to the number of argument that function takes. So let's, let's move that a little bit outside here. We're just gonna create a type which is, uh, let's call it like this and then put it here. And let's say, for example, this thing takes another argument, right? And then here we going to say, um, uh, yeah, this is good. This is very good. And now uh, this one here should take a different, uh, another argument. So if there is a third one, same thing, you are just going to say here, Hey, uh, we gonna pass that Z, uh, here. And then uh, now below, once once you do so, um, you see you see on, on at, at the bottom here it says now that you we're returning just a function because as long as it's not done, as long as you haven't passed all the parameter, the system is still in a partial uh, uh, state. So you just gotta keep on giving uh, the the, uh, the parameters right there. So if I go right now here and I add a z. That ha that is a number, and then complete uh, the operation here by saying uh, z right there. We're gonna now see that if I pass uh, six right here and then six over here, we should have exactly the same result. So uh, that's the curry function, and that function there. Well, um, trust me, it is really useful. Uh, get to play a little bit with it and if you want to see some examples of where you can use it you can go down to the Hackages learning platform and you're gonna find some amazing content in there we good by the way don't forget to subscribe because we have more things to come for you take care